And welcome back to another carbon toy haul. So today, as you can see, we're not using the um, the Hero Quest uh, backboard because we've got some uh, quite big stuff today. Um, a few things from uh, previous weeks. So first of all, I'll show you the the biggest things. So first up, we got this Interactor Virtual Reality Game Gear. It's it is vintage. Well, I believe it's vintage. Let me just check. Uh, date. Where is the date? Uh, um, there we go. 1994. And it's compatible with PlayStation, Sega consoles, Nintendo consoles, PC, Commodore Amiga. TV and hi-fi and um, yes yeah, this kind of like uh, backpack type thing that basically all it does is a uh, vibrate it's pretty cool I've uh, I have picked up these up before they are like pretty heavy um, three pound for this So yeah, definitely worth picking up. I think the last one I paid uh, £5 for, although that one was almost uh, like new. So there you go, that's the first pickup. Next up is another vintage uh, item, Robote Robotics. Uh, very cool. Seems to all be there. Figuring out them. I haven't checked the motor yet. Uh, the motors tend to not work. I don't think I've actually got one that works yet. And this was from um, 1985. So that's pretty cool. I bought this off a fellow dealer or collector. Fellow collector, uh, he sells a lot of stuff at the car boots. Normally, um, quite overpriced, but this was only five pounds. So, and it is something I collect. I need to get, uh, I need to get my collection. That's uh, still stored at my mother's. Um, we got loads of this stuff, so that's pretty cool. I have to do a video of them at some point. So next up, we found a bunch of Warhammer stuff. I picked up Warhammer. I don't know what. Uh, Version of the rule book this is. It's from 2004. Yeah, I used to love me, uh, love me Warhammer gaming. I don't really do it anymore, unfortunately. Would love to take it back up again, but uh, you know, I've got enough hobbies to keep me going. We've got uh, Apocalypse. So that's pretty cool. Uh, these are a pound each. And then we've got a bunch of uh, codexes and game books. So we've got the Apocalypse Reloaded. Oh, Reload, excuse me. Uh, the, this next lot is all. All of it was 30p each. Which was. Um, we have a load of uh, Warhammer stuff. Uh, well, not Warhammer. Uh, White Dwarf magazines. So I nearly bought the lot, but um, I didn't really want the, the White Dwarfs. Planet Strike. Was, uh, I like this. 2007 catalogue. A little bit battered, unfortunately, but 30p. Very cool. I had a bunch of the catalogues from, uh, from when I used to play, and I ended up selling them for, I think I was selling them for like £15, £20 each. It's crazy. Uh, Codex Tyranids. I think this is an old one. Yeah, the, the catalogs that I was selling were from like the 90s. Uh, yeah, I thought this was the 90s one. So that's a, that's a nice little find with them. Chaos Space Marines. Warhammer Warriors of Chaos, which I actually realised that I think I've got this one already. Still for 30p. 
Blood Angels, I might have that one. Undead, again, this is one of my uh, ones from the 90s. So I do collect them. Demon Hunters. I collect a lot of the Warhammer Chaos sort of stuff as well. Like this one, which I definitely haven't got. And that's from uh, 1996. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. I always get excited when I see uh, this sort of stuff. Look at that. That's nice. I'm looking out for the uh, one of the older books that I had that was um, Realms of Chaos books. Very rare, very expensive now. Uh, another Tyrannus book. And lastly, I just got this little supplement thing. Uh, I was a little bit annoyed because I bought all them. I bought these these two for a pound. These are all these for 30p. And uh, there's like, how many is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and this one, which we said I could have for free. And it's just been like 3 quid for all them, plus them two, so it's a £5, so she really, I only, she only knocked me off 30p. And uh, give me that for free. Even though I was buying pretty much everything she had, but anyway. Let's look on and let's look at the next thing. We've got some Lego. This is uh, Brick Masters. Um, only 50p, so I don't know whether it's going to be all there. Yeah, it's actually is that's. I think that might actually be sealed. Let me have a look. I was assuming it was um, a bit opened. Actually, it might be brand new. Let's have a little look. Oh, I don't want to rip it. Come on. Need a knife or something. Hang on. I'm a little bit annoyed that I've ripped it now, but I'm not actually collecting it. Oh my god. All still totally sealed. I actually only bought it for the parts, the bricks. Um, yeah, definitely a bit annoyed that I ripped that now. Oh well, 50p never been used. Presumably that's was someone's um, unwanted Christmas present or something. Uh, they also had some more Lego stuff. A lot of mixed up stuff in here. Lord of the Rings or Hobbit off there. Uh, that was uh, a quid. A fair few figures in there. They are genuine figures as well. So very cool. You got some games, you got uh Tomodachi Life for a quid. Crazy. Because uh they still sell for lots, I think uh, CX. Trades it in for like ten pounds, sells it for like twenty, eighteen, fifteen or something. I don't know. Uh, not off the same thing, but I got a Red Dead Redemption Two, which I've been wanting to play for a while. I bought this for um, ten pounds, I think. So I think that's good. That's a good buy because I think if I took that straight to CX, I'd get twelve pound trading. But it is what I'll, what I keep anyway. So that was a bargain. Um, so lastly, I found uh, two Cabbage Patch dolls, uh, original ones, uh, I can't even read that, but uh, back of the head, 1988, first edition ones, uh, I've got that one, um, now when I, went, when I was looking at them, uh, the woman on the stall came over and she was sort of saying, Oh, these are old ones. These are these are these are really old. These are. Um, but by the way, when I got them, they were really scruffy, covered in uh, all sorts of muck and uh, paint and nail varnish and all sorts. 
Um, so once you come over and say, oh yeah, they're all vintage. I was expecting to turn around and say, oh yeah, five pound for ten, twenty pound each. Uh, but she said a uh, pound each. So and the last one was uh, this one, uh, which is complete with the outfit. Again, I think this is one like the first editions. Um, 1983. Yeah, really, really grubby. They were. This one was like covered in like makeup, um, not like nail varnish on it, and all sorts. And uh, went through the wash uh, twice, and that's it. They're, they're brilliant. Uh, the clothes were all stained, and I used some stain remover, and they're not well, absolutely. Well, I won't say mint, but. Uh, very good. So that's uh, that's this lot. What a nice uh, pick up here. So until next time, try for now.